Thank you. Um, I know that most of you would prefer to have uh, the presentation in Bangla, and what I'm going to do is a little bit interactive, so there will be a couple of points in the presentation where I hope to engage my colleague Shabir to translate for me, and we can have some interaction in Bangla. Um, if there are if, when we get to those break points, you have questions about anything I've done up to that point or said up to that point, uh, we can pause for a moment and get questions. Because it's very uh, important to me that uh, we have a proper understanding uh, of the, the material. So, uh, rather than talk to you about compliance and the technical issues involved, we've had several uh, excellent presentations already in this uh, exposition by Don Bliss this morning from the NFPA, from Tyco yesterday on integrated fire safety uh, and security solutions. Uh, we've had a number of uh, presentations that deal with structural safety. We have more planned for electrical safety. Rather than talking about the technical compliance issues, I want to talk about something that I think is more closely aligned to what interest factor is. Most of you uh, didn't get in business uh, to produce safety and health products, you got in the business to produce garments, right? And part of your business model to produce garments is to produce them efficiently, to produce, to improve productivity, and in the process to maintain a level of quality in the production of those garments that reduces errors, right? So can I get a show of hands, and you may translate it if this isn't clear, um, how many people in the room work in garment factories? Work for uh, uh, RMG factories? I'm 
তো প্রফেসর অদুত আসলে এই সফট ফ্যাক্টরি এবং হার্ড ফ্যাক্টরি উপরে আপনি বলছিলেন সফট ফ্যাক্টরির উপরে যারা আপনার ফ্যাক্টরিতে যারা কাজ করছে তাদের আসলে অনেক নিয়ন্ত্রণ আছে আমি কিন্তু আন্তরিক হই আসলে এই সফট ফ্যাক্টরিগুলো নিয়ন্ত্রণ করার জন্য তাহলে আমাদের হার্ড ফ্যাক্টরিগুলো আসলে অনেক কমে আসলে নিয়ন্ত্রণ করতে চলে আসে So here's where we're going to take a pause and ask you to participate. The first question is what's the difference for your factory for your business between a supply chain where you're just passing goods up the, the chain and a value chain. One of the best definitions I've ever heard of sustainability is it's where value is aligned with values. In other words, what we're doing in our factory what we're doing to produce things is aligned with the way we want the world to be how well we want our workers to be how prosperous we want our country to be how well we want to leave the economy and society for the next generation to uni as the values the kotha bolche uni bolche je values the kotha bolche je ashole values ta amader mone rakhte যেমন <laughs> their values are influencing their choice to do business with you as opposed to somebody else why do they want to do business with you why do they want to do business with bangladesh এখন আপনারা যারা ব্যবসার সাথে সম্পৃক্ত আপনাদের আসলে এখন আপনি জানতে চাচ্ছেন যে আপনাদের যে সুযোগ বাইরেরা আছে তারা আপনাদের সাথে ব্যবসা করতে চায় কেন কোন বেরু কারণে আপনাদের সাথে ব্যবসা করতে চায় সেই জিনিসগুলো আমি জানতে চাচ্ছি গুড আফটারনুন এভরিবডি থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ মার্ক বেসিক্যালি মি ইজ ফ্রম নোভেল্ট ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং উমে থার্টা নাই উই ওয়ার ওয়ার্কিং উই আর গেটিং ইডেক সাম টু দ্য ফ্যাক্টরি টু হেল্প দ্যাম টু রিপ্লিক অবাউট देयर ক্যাম্পস সো ইন মাই কেস উই অলরেডি ওয়ার্ক ফর সাইলেন্ট ফ্যাক্টরিজ এন্ড দে হ্যাভ ট্রাস্টেড অন আস এন্ড হোয়াট আই সিন দ্যাট ইন বাংলাদেশ ইউ নো মার্ক উই ওয়ার নট বেসিক্যালি ইউজ টু উইথ দ্য স্ট্যান্ডার্ড সিস্টেম মানে বল উই ওয়ার্ক ফর সাইলেন্ট ইলেকট্রিক্যাল ডিজাইন সিস্টেম এন্ড এভরিথিং but very first time we try to uh, uh, make them comprehend that what we are doing we are really not partners and uh, uh, we are promoting the standards and we are working with that level that this level thing is that you are being served with some standard engineering practice so i think the happy sentiment factories is our best one it is good i think okay Yes. Why 
Yes. Not the price of because we are producing good, you you raise the prices. In many, many cases we have seen just to, uh, the buyer raises the price also. Right. And that's that's what I'm trying to get at is how do we align that thinking so that we're not only we're, we're, what, what I'm worried about, why I'm talking about this but rather than the technical part, is many of the factories have come to the alliance and they've said, I feel like, and I'll have Shabir translate this, I feel like if I don't do this, you'll take away the business. I also feel like if I do it, but I charge you a higher price to pay for the cost of doing it, you'll take your business someplace else. Anyway, I lose either way. So we will change it. Uh, so what I want to do, and I've always I've said this since I arrived in Bangladesh, I may work for the Alliance, and I may look like I'm here with the brands, but I spend more than half of my time trying to change their minds about how they do business here. So part of the challenge for us, if we want to turn this, what appears to be a lose-lose proposition into a win-win proposition, is figure out a different way to talk about and think about how we're doing safety. So, I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 So, one of the things that ISO 9001 emphasizes as part of applying the 98 principles is six forms of documentation that every factory should have related to its quality management program. The first is a document control procedure. The second is a way of control control of non-conforming product and service, uh, corrective action data dawaache and prevention act, preventive action data dawaache. Ehi jini kudu ni kudu chete, ehi jini kudu kudu shakti 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 well, I'm going to draw a parallel here between total quality management, which ISO 9001 is one approach to total quality management. And the cycle for total quality management is called plan, do, check, act. Right? In total safety management, there's a parallel process. Identify, assess, implement, and audit. Uh, 
So let's draw the parallel here. If I'm implementing a total quality program and my goal is to reduce the number of garments per hundred that have defects, my defect rate has to be below, I keep hearing 4.5 as a standard, is that? So I want to keep my defect rate below 4.5. That's my problem definition. For it to be effective to develop an appropriate plan, I have to identify the things that can keep me from achieving that 4.5 or lower error rate. So we actually go check 4.5. Four, 4.5 is error with the theta actually so when I use the total safety management approach, I start with a problem definition that is hazard based. So one of the hazards that we would be asking you to identify and respond to is not being able to get out of the building if the fire starts. That would be an identified hazard. So we would then look at all of the things that could keep people from escaping if the fire started. The next step in total quality management is to implement the solution we've identified. We're, we don't rush to that step in total safety management. We go to the next step and say, which of the things I've identified can I control immediately, and which things will I have to do more to do? So this is where we make the hard, soft distinction that Professor Wadu talked about. <laughs> So, in total quality management, once I've implemented my process, I check my error rate, I check how many defects are occurring, and I make adjustments. What I'm going to ask you in a moment is to identify the hazards. Tell me which ones are under your control. Let's think about how we could develop an evacuation scheme for this case. So, the case is a four-story factory. We call it Alliance Denim Goods Limited. It's 3,800 square meters per floor. It has a security office, visitor lobby, sample room, utilities, and finished goods on the ground floor of the shipping department. Sewing and production on the first and second floors. And the third is a mixture of offices, prayer room, raw material storage, and a cutting department. So we have different occupant loads, right, on each of the four floors. Which floors will have the highest occupant loads? So sewing floors will have the highest occupant load. Where will the highest fuel load be? The most fuel in the storage areas, right? So when we start to think about we have to be able to evacuate in a fire. Where is the biggest fire likely to occur? Where the most fuel exists, right? So when we start to think about how we design our evacuation scheme, we think about where the fire is most likely to occur, where it's most severe, and how we move the largest number of people the most safely and directly to the outside of the building, right? So in this case, uh, we have three stairways. The main stairway is the largest. It's in the front of the building, in the middle. We have another stairway in a rear corner and another one on a side. The one on the side is the smallest one. And we have an automatic fire detection system and stand pipes. <laughs>
it's, it's, not, it's not no problem. Right. But, so then, but the... I'm, uh, what I'm uh, just going to tell you that first of all, we have to see the, what kind of hazard is there to right. identify the nature of the hazard. According to that, we will have to, we'll have to set, set, the, set the operation of the factory, total operation of the factory, what to the production set to be, what to the cutting, what to the, what to be the finishing and others. As you have uh, described here, I, I see this, uh, the most of the hazard will occupy in the, uh, in the uh, swing flow. In the swing flow. So the swing flow people should be, should follow. And in this uh, safe evacuation plan and safe system, what is this? Not, not to, not to evacuate quickly, but to evacuate safely. What is, what is uh, called it? very quick evacuation is not essential, but, but safe evacuation is very important. This is all, all what we give, give importance. Right. So let me come back to, to a couple of points you made because this is really critical in terms of the balance. I agree with you that safe evacuation is more important than quick evacuation, but here's my caveat. Safe evacuation is quick evacuation. It's just not too quick. So you're, you're right, the balance there is important. When we look at the hazard, yes, the most people are on those floors. What you described is an ideal evacuation. People who are in the most danger, then people who are in the next most. The problem for us is how do we develop an evacuation scheme and the fire alarm activation to achieve that? If we haven't planned for that in advance, we can't achieve it. Most of the fire alarm systems that factories are installing sound throughout the building all at the same time. So if people react to the fire alarm, we don't achieve the evacuation you described. If I want to achieve that evacuation, I have to redesign, and in many cases, reinstall my fire alarm system because most of the systems aren't designed to do that kind of evacuation. So this is why it's so important to take a TQM approach and to plan in advance in a way that thinks about the specific hazards and vulnerabilities of your factory. Our standard, the Alliance standard, isn't written for a specific factory, it's written for all factories. So for it to be useful in your factory, we need to think about the problem in your factory separately from every other factory that we're looking at. So, you have to say that 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 you have to so I'm going to summarize really quickly this case study. If we identify the hazards, we have a fuel hazard in a different location than a people hazard. We're going to implement a program that prioritizes evacuation, and we're going to have to change hard and soft factors. We've got to write a plan that has a sequential evacuation, and we have to design our fire alarm system and implement it so that it does that. Then we have to train people so that they don't think, because I'm not evacuating now, that I've been forgotten. <laughs> because that happens in a lot of buildings. And then I have to. Uh, see if I've actually achieved the result by auditing the performance and making sure that the detectors, the alarm system, the evacuation plan operate effectively and consistently. the systematic fire evacuation plan that we have fire evacuation plan that we have to the fire detectors equipment that we have to the fire detectors equipment that we have to do the Practical, 
যেটা বলছেন যে আসলে আমাদের জন্য সেফটিটা খুবই গুরুত্বপূর্ণ বিষয় এই জিনিসগুলো আমাদের মনের মধ্যে রাখতে হবে এবং এই সেফটিটাকে সামনে নিয়ে আমাদেরকে চলতে হবে আর এর আগে যেটা বললেন যে আমি যতক্ষণ যে কথাগুলো বললাম এই কথাগুলো যদি আমার কথা বললেন যে আমি নিজে ঠিক করবো আপনাদের কাছে আসলে পৌঁছাতে পারছি না আপনারা অনেকেই নিজে বোঝেন ওরা তো অনেক বড় বড় কথা তার মধ্যে কিছু কিছু কথা হয়তো ছুটে গেছে বা মূল বক্তব্যগুলো আমি উপস্থাপন করার চেষ্টা করেছি এবং আপনারা যেটা বুঝেছেন এবং যদি আমার কোনো কিছু ছুটে গিয়েও থাকে অনেকে বুঝতে পেরেছেন আপনাদের মনে মধ্যে যদি কোনো ধরনের প্রশ্ন থাকে আপনারা অবশ্যই এটা করতে পারেন উনি তারপরে যেটা বলছেন যে ফ্রম কমপ্লায়েন্স কন্টিনিউসি রিক্রুটমেন্ট যেটা আছে আসলে আমরা কমপ্লায়েন হয়ে গেল আসলে এখানেই শেষ না এই কমপ্লায়েন হয়ে যাওয়ার পরে আমাদের যে স্ট্যান্ডার্ডটা আমরা অ্যাচিভ করলাম সেই স্ট্যান্ডার্ডটাকে ধরে রাখার জন্য যে বিষয়টা সেটা কিন্তু আসলে অনেক দরকার তাহলে আসলে আমাদের মূল লক্ষ্যটা আমরা অর্জন করতে পারি So instead of looking at the standard, the alliance standard is a minimum, in the same way that we look at our error rate, our defect rate, our quality standard as a minimum, something that we must continually improve on, if we apply a total quality management, total safety management approach, we move beyond compliance towards a commitment, a genuine agreement between all of the workers in the factory, between the buyers and the vendors, between the alliance and the members, the alliance and the factories, that what we're doing is not only safe, but it's improving quality. And ultimately, that contributes to success because it generates a win-win, not a lose-lose. We need to put a quality of teaching of total quality management in the company. We have not started yet with the body. We have not yet put it in the case. মেনে চলতে পারি তাহলে এটার মধ্যে একটা উইন উইন সিচুয়েশন ক্রিয়েট হবে দুই পক্ষেই আমরা আসলে উইন উইন সিচুয়েশনের মধ্যে থাকব যেটার মধ্যে যারা প্রডিউসার তারা প্লাস যারা কিনছে এবং বাইরে পরে যারা কিনে না সবাই আসলে এটার মধ্যে এটা তারা উপকৃত হবে এবং এই যে আমাদের আসলে লক্ষ্য এর দ্বারাই আমাদের মূলত আমাদের যে সাকসেসটা এই সাকসেসটা আসলে তখন আমরা ধরে রাখতে I want to thank Shabir for going. He didn't know he was going to be part of the presentation before we started. So I want to thank Shabir for his translation and I want to open the floor to questions.